one, two, three, 117, 118, 119. Whoa, what's up you guys? It's Taylor Grant, just doing some jumping jacks. I'm with Bellator Claims Resolution. I'm here to talk to you about the denial of the day. Now I gotta catch my breath, but today's comes from D of Fort Collins, Colorado. This is a little lengthy, so follow me, okay? I've been with the insurance company for over 25 years. Every time a storm comes in the spring, our, our shingles fall off the roof. They say, oh, just patch it up. This year, I've had enough. In July, this last July, a storm came through causing damage to the roof and interior leaving leaks on the ceiling in an attic. So I called out the catastrophe team to tarp up the roof and I was told the roof would be replaced. The adjuster was virtual, okay? Adjuster was virtual and decided to patch the roof the whole back, the ceiling insulation, painting, and the carpet replacing wet wood was not even addressed. I refused to accept the $3,200 they gave me to replace just the back of the roof. It's been a losing fight for me. It has rained again and mold has developed all on all our things in the home and apparently they don't cover this. I have two children in the home and one has special needs. They do not care. 25 years and I am not in good hands. Beware, learn from my story. This is the thing that I hear a lot is one adjuster comes out, the virtual adjuster says, oh yeah, it should be covered, or whoever comes out says it should be covered, the first person. The second person that looks at the claim, all of a sudden, miraculously says, I don't know if that's covered or not. They might even have looked at your property. They might have been a virtual adjuster, which is total bullshit. If you have somebody doing a virtual assessment on your property, do not accept the results unless they are in your favor, okay? This person cannot touch they cannot see specifically, look real close, like get real close, right? They can't look up close and see exactly what's going on. Part of the adjustment process is being able to see what's actually happening, look around the property, see collateral damage, feel what's going on. Is that actually a bruise? Is it actually a fracture? What exactly is this? And if I need to do more in-depth inspection or investigation, do I do a core cut? A virtual inspector, last time I checked, can't actually do a core cut. And they can't see as well as somebody in person at your location right here, right now. They might have a roofer on the roof doing a core cut and they're like, yeah, send me a picture of that. It doesn't do it justice. If you're taking a virtual adjuster's result that's not in your favor at its face value, don't do it. It's not in your favor. Do not accept that. Always ask for a reinspect with a real person, which is ridiculous we even have to do that, right? But this is the deal. When you're getting turned down by a virtual adjuster and you need help, contact us today, okay? We do residential claims in Northern Colorado only, but we do commercial, industrial, municipalities, all the way from Cheyenne to Colorado Springs. So if you have a large loss claim and you need our help, let me know. BellatorClaims.com.